Hi, this is Carmen again with Power Moves. This is gonna be our third class, and we're gonna start introducing you to some additional equipment, some props. We're going to be going through our Power Moves, and then what I'll do is explain to you how you can incorporate those props in the basic Power Moves that we do sitting and standing. But we need to warm up. So let's go ahead and start, go through our Power Moves, and then I'll break this equipment down for you. Okay, are you ready? Make sure you have your chair, that you're sitting up tall, shoulders are down, chest is pulled tall, lots of space between your chin and your chest. And let's start with easy, easy shoulder rolls and big shoulder rolls, way back. Make sure you're squeezing through those shoulder blades and think about driving those elbows straight back. Good, can I get four more please? Big shoulder rolls. Maybe taking a heavy coat off, pulling your sweater open. Make sure you really open up that chest. Good, give me one more. Now, I need a really big circle. So take the arms across the chest, up over your head, and spread those fingers when you do that. Yeah? And if you want, you can use your voice here. Ah, good. Can I get two more big circles? Good, I need one more. Nice, now hold it right there with your arms stretched out, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Good, now bring your arms center and just shake them loose. Release those fingers, release those hands. Good, now straighten the arms. Straighten your hands, and can you give me a big finger wiggle? That means one finger at a time. Don't do it quickly. Really take your time. Good. Now let's take that wrist all the way up, flick it at the top, and let your arms flow down to your lap, and shrug your shoulders. Up and down. And again, those wrists go up to the ceiling, you flick them at the top, they come floating down, and you shrug those shoulders. Good. Let's reach over your head and start to warm up the torso a little bit. Here we go. We reach on one. And big two. Good. We're reaching high up to that ceiling. Give me four more. Give me three. Big two. Now, right across your chest. We want to rotate and turn that torso like we're reaching across the table, grabbing something way on the other side. Good. Can I get four more? Don't be afraid to lean forward over that lap. If you're sitting on a chair, you're not going to fall. And if you do, you're close to the floor. Give me one more. Now I need a big breaststroke, a big swim. Really push that water, please. You should feel your shoulder blades squeeze and come together back there. Give me one more. Very nice. Take the hands and put them on your lap. Now this should be easy for you. Can you just tap your heels a little bit? Taking your time, tapping those heels a bit. Good, now let's see if we can tap the toe. You might feel the shins pull a little bit, right? There's a little bit of a stretch, kind of warming it up that area. Good. Don't worry if you're going super fast, it's all right. Now we're gonna try to pick up the legs. Here we go. Big step. We're gonna use this when we do our power outs on our chair. So you gotta kind of get used to picking up those legs. Good. It doesn't have to be high. It can be small. Now, give me big wide out and then back in. So think, you can say it out, out, in. Or you can say wide, wide, narrow. Mm -hmm. Whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good to repeat stuff. Wide, wide. Helps your brain work a little bit. Wide, wide, narrow. Give me two more, please. Out, out, in, in, last one. Now let's 
warm up that hamstring a little bit. We're gonna heel to the floor, heel to the floor. So think, I'm pointing my toe up to the ceiling. You'll feel a stretch, maybe in the hamstring a little bit. Good. Now, again, still with that hamstring, put your whole foot on the floor, drag it back. Give me heel and toe and drag it back. As if your foot was in a pile of cement. And we wanna pull it out. Good, doesn't have to be super hard. If you're working out on your kitchen floor, even on your rug, this is a great way to get that area to warm up. Good, now hold it there. Now just open and close those toes. Working through that ankle, out and in. And you might feel your hips working on the side as well. Good. Now give me the heel, same thing. The rotation goes out and in. I always feel this in my calves. You might feel it there. Or on the ball of your foot, you'll feel the calf. Good. The last one we're gonna do here, we're gonna tap our toes out to the side. This will help when we do our power out, our rocks. Stretch through that flexor a little bit. Big out step. Good, so we've warmed up the upper body a little bit. We've warmed up the lower body. We're gonna start our power moves and go through them. And then we'll get into the props. Give me four more, please. Give me three. Give me two, very nice. We're ready for power ups. Squeeze your shoulder blades and let's power up into a T. Remember when that T, you have to squeeze those shoulder blades and open up that body. Give me four more. Give me three. Give me two. And one more. Now, let's do an easy rock. You remember, over the lap, looking up at that hand. Remember, we have to stretch out those fingers. I don't want to see a closed hand. And I need you to really turn that hand and look up at it. Good. One more, please. Big, long stretch. Yeah. Good. Let's squeeze those shoulder blades and go into the twist. Dropping the knee, turning the torso, squeezing back in the center. I need four more. I need three. I need two. I need one more. Now it's a power in. But can I have a power out with just one leg? So you can see by warming up those legs, lifting them straight up and down, how they help here. Big power step out. One leg only. These are the beginning moves that we did in our first class. Give me two more, please. We're gonna go right into power, up into the eye. Squeezing those shoulder blades. You can use your voice here. You can count on three, four, oh, four. Take a big breath. Yes, can I get three more? Notice my fingers are really stretched out. No closed hand here. Last one. Now, let's do that second rock. One arm to the floor, one arm to the ceiling. And this should be really leaning over that lap. Like we wanna pick something up from the floor, but we're looking at the ceiling at the same time. Oh, breathe. Yeah. Three more, please. You can count. Three. This is four. Use that voice. Five. Good. Two more. This is seven. I need one more, please. And get ready for that twist. Remember where your shoulders have to go. And the twist. Big clap. Bring those hands together. 
Turn that shoulder. Two more, please. Last one, please. Power in, please. Now, power out with two legs. So now you see how we're advancing. I always think about getting in and out of the car when I do these. Big side steps in, big side steps out. You'll feel the body moving on the chair. Good, four more, please. Three more, please. Two more. Last one. Good, the last one. Before we start our flow, give me a power up into a big Y here. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Don't think about pushing with your arms. Think about squeezing with your shoulder blades. Don't forget that rock forward. Good. And you remember what the hands are doing. They're spread wide. I need four more. I need three. Two. This is your last one now. Here comes a bigger rock, a more difficult rock. Leg extended, arm over your head, and lean over that lap. This is where those side taps helped. Warm up that leg. And you can see that I'm really turning the torso, really looking up at this hand, really important. Four more, please. And if, even if you start with the closed hand, think about those fingers at the top of the movement. Or, remember the flicks? You can flick. Yeah, last one here. Shoulders come together and then the twist. And you notice what? That knee is trying to drop here so that I'm moving within the lower part of my body. Really important. Good. One more. Power in. Power out. It's a step, step, step all the time. That was three. Four. Big five. Just as up. This is seven. One more, please. Now, we're ready for our flow. Get ready. If you need water, now is a good time to get it. Combining all those power moves. Let's start with the power T. Let's start with the rock. Now hold it here for a moment. This is one of the rocks. Want to make this harder? Reach for the floor at the same time. Maybe one day is a real good day for you to try. And rock on two. Throw it in there when you want. Challenge yourself. Good, that's three. Don't forget those flicks if you want. This is six. Big seven. Last one. Let's squeeze those shoulder blades and, and power in, power out. We're gonna do another flow, okay? How about power up into a I? Decide on your rock. Give me another rock. How about a twist? Power in, power out. Power out. Last power up, please. Into that Y. Big rock for me. Big rock for me, remember. We don't have to go super fast. We want to just keep moving into the twist. Into the twist. Power in. Power out. And power out. Very nice. Before we get our props, let's do a set of power kicks. Hands inside the chest. Open up to a nice power kick there. And you're going to see we're going to rock the body. So this is another move you can put in there. After your power out, power kicks. Toe to the ceiling. I'm always flexing my foot. 
if I stretch through that calf a little bit. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Very nice. Let's crisscross our hands over our lap, over our chest. Big circle. Nice. Okay. Let's get into our props. We're going to start with a real simple one. These are called dots. Round dots. You can pick them up anywhere. If you don't have dots, you can put markers on the floor. You can use paper, white paper, or you can use cones. But let's start with the dots. So we're going to put them on one side and the other side. Let's say you're having trouble trying to give me that power out. So you need a target to help you. Looking at this target when you do your power out, step on that target, lift that leg in, step on it, and then bring that other leg in. And then power back in. Now the target's on the other side. Reach for it with that leg. Good. I'm going to adjust these to make it a little bit harder for me because I really want a big power out. I want lots of space between the legs. So let's try again. Power out with one leg, add the second leg. So you can see that i am got both feet on my marker there. I've hit the target. Power back in. Let's try the other side. Again, aiming for that marker and then back in. Let's try it with one leg power out. Because I'm only doing one leg, one leg stays center, the other one hits that target. And you can see that I made a big step. I'm almost off the target. And power out the other side again. Giving me more flexibility. Aiming for a target. Maybe one day my legs are really stiff and I just can't open it and I need something to help. This is a wonder, wonderful tool. Let's add both legs. Good. Now. Power outs. Add two legs for me. Yeah, very good. So think. I've got to have targets on the floor when my legs are stiff. So let's do a flow with the targets on the floor so you can see how it works. Starting with that power up, please. Into the rock. Look, I'm using that target there so I can get my leg really extended. And then power up, rock again. Again, looking at that target, reaching for it. And then the twist. I can separate, I can be in front of the targets, right? Power in, power out, both legs please, hitting that target. And hitting that target, really good. Let's do one more set, ready? Power up into a Y, big rock, big rock. Twist, twist. Power in, now aim for those targets and hit them. Power out, really good. Power out. Really good. We can also use them standing, which I'll show you as well, okay? So, let's take our targets and move them off to the side. And this is another fun but interesting tool. If you have a pool at home, it's a noodle. That's all it is. You can also use um, a rolling pin, but be careful, that's a little bit heavy. But a noodle works really good. You can get them anywhere. And what you do is cut them in half. They're flexible, they're fun, bright colors so you can see them. You could leave the targets on the floor and combine both of these tools. So let's say the target is on one side, let's say it's on the other side. We're going to make the legs as almost as wide as this target and put it in one hand. I have it in my right. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the torso, touch the target here on the floor, lift it up, rotate the body, and look behind me. So the torso is working here. So we reach forward to the target. You can tap the floor if you like. And make it fun, do a double tap. One, two, ah, rotate. You see how wide my chest is open and how I'm squeezing that shoulder blade into the other one. Again. Can I get four more? I take my time as I extend because it's a lot of movement in the shoulder there, but I'm really targeting that shoulder blade. Good, can I get two more? And don't go fast. Don't throw the arm, extend it, reach. Give me two more. Can I get one more? Very nice. Now can you come back to the center and just change your hand. When you change your hand to the other hand, don't spread your fingers, reach for the noodle so you feel the whole noodle around the hand, okay? You can shake it, make sure it's there, and get ready. I'm aiming for this target over here. There it is, and I turn and I open. Again, now don't make the arm too high up here. Drop it so it's chest level, and look how straight my arm is. And I'm opening up my chest there as well. Double tap and open. Single tap and open. Good. Let's try four more. Make sure the feet are planted firmly on the ground, that it's just the torso. Nice. Can I get two more, please? Last one. Good. Let's meet in the middle. Another way you can use the noodle is to put two hands on it. We're gonna tap forward. You can even take a marker, put it in front, tap that marker and lift up. And tap that marker and lift up. Now, everyone's different in terms of it going over your head. But you really need to rock that body and try to get those arms narrow and in front of your face. It doesn't have to be over your head. Four more. Three. Two. Very nice. And bring it back down to your chest. Okay, so you've worked one side, the other side, and then straight forward. With the noodle right in front of you in straight arms, can you start at the bottom and work yourself up? So we're climbing the rope. One arm, one hand, the other hand. And before I grab the noodle, I really stretch out the hands. Then I grab one on top of the other. Climb in that rope till I get to the top. Now I reverse coming down right in front of me. And because I have to keep a straight arm, I'm engaging the shoulders. Top of the shoulders, back of the shoulders, and I'm really squeezing that noodle. Nice. Can we do that again? Climbing that rope, stretching those fingers, one hand and then the other. Nice. And then we reverse it. Now you can do this as many times as you like combined it with the other movements I just showed you. Good. Let's put it in the right hand. And I like to do circles over my head, engaging the wrist, engaging the forearm. And then after the circle, a little wiggle. Yeah. And then try the other hand. Big loop to loop up there. And then the wiggle. So have fun with it, be creative. But you can also use it sitting down for power moves. So if I was going to do a power move, hands together, power up. And I need to do one more so I can engage the other arm. Power up. 
And on the rock, I would leave it there, stretch out my leg, extend it to the ceiling. This will give me a longer reach. Rock. And then I pass it. And then the rock. My targets are still on the floor. Now I'm gonna stretch out and do that twist. Watch what happens on the twist. I exchange hands and then I open. I exchange hands and then I open. Let's do two more. And then the last one. Very good. Now power in. That means feet and hands. Now on the power out, same arm as leg. Power out. And now as you come back to the center, change your hand to the other hand and power out. You can even aim for the floor on that. Again, power out. Back in. Power out. Let's do two more, okay? Change hands, last one, please. Yeah, that's one way to use the noodle and there's more other ways to use the noodle. Also, it's a great tool for when you're standing. So let's stand now and start to expand on some of those power moves. So take your noodle and I always put it behind your chair. Be flat on the floor. Your targets can still be there or you can move them out of the way. Let's stand. Big power up, please. Good, from here. Can you rock? Lock those legs and then start to pick up your feet. Let's travel behind your chair. You need to get water. This is a really good time as well. So here we go. Big steps all the way around the chair. Now, right in the back of my chair that you didn't see are scarves. I have an orange and I have a purple. These are Scarves you can get anywhere. I'm sure if you dig in your closet, you'll find one, okay? So let's try some scarf movement. You're gonna be behind your chair. This is a simple one. Shake it out a little bit. You're gonna take it from the right hand, turn the torso, put it in the left hand, and thread it through. So you can see I'm rotating the torso again. Put it into the left, through the fingers, thread it through. And again, thread it through. And I'm following it, so I turn my head, I follow. Good, thread it through. Nice, give me one more. Now drop your arms, pass it low, Change it into those fingers and lift it up, squeezing those shoulder blades. Here we go. Into the other hand, so we're doing the other side, thread it through. So it's kind of what we did with the noodles sitting down, rotating that torso. Almost like a twist, isn't it? Without the lower body, just threading it through. Good. Can I get four more? I get three. Right through those fingers. Follow with your head. Two. And one. Very nice. Drop the arms. Change hands. Hold it on each side. Lift it up. Put it behind your head. That's hard to do. And then slide it down. Grab it on each end. Lift it as far as you can do it. Now, it's gotta come over your head. So you might have to drop your head a little bit, bring it on the front of the chest, and then let it slide down. Let's change hands, do the other side. Come up over your head, behind, see? I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see that I have to drop my head a little bit here. Then I straighten it, then I slide it through. Let's try it one more time. On each end, lift up, dropping it. You see, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades there, and then I slide it through, okay? 
So that's another way you can use your scarf standing. Let's try something else. Let's hold it in the middle, right in the middle of the scarf. Looks like that. If your char chair is there, you can always hold it with one hand. This is a little bit harder. We're gonna try and throw it and catch it, kind of try to engage our legs. So we toss it in the center. As it comes down, we grab it. Again, throw it high, grab it, and as it comes down, bend those legs a little bit. You can hold the chair, toss it, grab it, bend. Toss it, grab it, bend. Again, toss it, grab it. Good, again, toss it, grab it. We're gonna have to do the other side, so. That was my good side. Now I'm gonna try with the other hand, my left side. If you need balance, support, move over to the other side of your chair. Shake it out a little bit and then get ready. Toss it, grab it, there it goes. And I'm holding the chair this time. Toss it, grab it. Yeah, toss it, grab it. Let's do a couple more. This left side is hard for me. Two more. I really want to toss it up in the air. I really want to catch it as it comes down. One more. Very nice. Yeah. Let's do one more before we move on to another tool, another prop. You're going to give me, with the scarf in your right hand, a rock back. Chair should be there in case you need balance. Rock back on the right leg, scarf comes forward. Change hands. Rock back on the left foot. Change hands. Here we go. Two and three and four. Five. So I'm changing right here. Six. Right where my hands are. Center. Seven. Eight. Good. Now you remember our step backs? Use your scarf when you do this. Right leg, step back with a scarf over your head and then bring it back. Let's do that again. Big step back and big center. The chair is there if you need it. Then let go of it. Then grab it and pull it back. Good. One more. Three more. When I extend that scarf, I'm still squeezing those shoulder blades, but I'm turning my hand, turning my tor torso and looking back. I need one more. Now change your hands. Let's try the other side. So now I'll be on my left side and way back and back in. Way back. Yeah. The higher you can go with that scarf, I think the better because you really have to follow it too. Good. Can we get four more? Nice. I need one more. Very nice. Hmm? That's some combos with the scarf. Let's take the scarf and put it back on your chair. And we are gonna talk about a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, you can use the dot. If you don't have a dot, you can always use these little cones. But we're gonna learn to take that big step over on our power moves, standing up. So the first one we'll try is with this yoga block. This is gonna be hard want to put it on your side and when we power up we need to reach over that step and then back in so start holding the chair make it easy for you lift the leg step over step back in over 
This will get that big step that you need for your power move here. Power out. Power out. Four more. Three. Two. Really good. Let's try the other side, okay? This time I'll try it with the cone, which will be a little easier because it's not as tall as the yoga block. So I'll use one of these cones I have. I can move the chair to this side or try it without the chair since it's a smaller target. Big power step over that cone. Big power step back. See, it's a lot easier, huh? Good. I want to aim for it. I don't want to step on the cone. Good. Good. Four more. Give me three. Aim for it. Two. And one. Good. Now, even easier than that, using a prop or a target is to use the ones we used when we were on the chair, your dots. This time, I'm gonna put it further away and that's gonna be my target at the end of the movement. That's where my foot is gonna go. So I look at it, I aim for it, and I power move because I wanna step on it. And then I come back. So instead of going up and over on the smaller target, I'm really lunging forward and that's that power move to hit that target. Here we come. One, I got my foot on it. Get your foot on it, two. And we're looking over that hand, three. Always using target, so four. Maybe you want to work a little harder. Or maybe you just need that little bit of a push. Big power step. Two more, strong arms, please. Oop, I missed the target that time. Last one. Very nice. Okay, let's try the other side. Again, I'm gonna step on this dot. That's my target from my power out. Here I come, on the target, away from the target, yeah? Oh, I almost missed it. Trying to get my whole foot on that dot. Good. Give me four more. Mm-hmm. Big power move. Mm -hmm. Whoops, I almost missed it. Last one. So, we used a yoga block. We used a cone. And our favorite are dots to help you target your step where you're going to use it. There are more exercises that we can incorporate with these as we get more into the class. How about a hula hoop? What do you think? You'd have to get this, or you'd have to get a circumference as wide as that. What can we do with a hula hoop? We can rotate the torso, right? We can take the torso up and over. Or we, you can use a target, which is your chair. Mm -hmm. So take it, put it over the chair, bring it back in. That's another way to do it. And incorporate that power move. So I'm gonna step a little closer. Power step over the chair, power step back in. That's another way. Mm -hmm. Let's do three more. Holding it on the side. I need one more. Good. Now let's try something else. We're gonna to move to the other side of the chair without the power move. Just turn the torso, drop it, turn the torso back. So it's a little bit different than the power move. You're just using your upper body. Turn and drop, turn, return. Yeah. Simple. 
Now, let's add it, make it harder by lifting it up over the chair. Up and bring it back down. Up over the chair. Bring it back. Can I get two more of these? Up. Turn the torso over the chair. So let's say you have to reach for something. That's another way to do it. Up. Turn the torso. Kind of feel like a robot, huh? Give me two more. Stretch the body here. Rotate the torso. Drop it. So you're hinging all the time. Let's do one more. Ready? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Good. Another way that you can use the hula hoop. On the floor. It's going to be a side step. Now, if you need to use your chair, you can make sure it's accessible with one hand. Power step here, look, and back in. So you need to get your foot inside that hula hoop. If you step on it, that's not inside. So that means it's a big leg, isn't it? Into a side squat and then back in. Into a side squat. And what are my fingers doing? They're stretched out. Yeah. And again. Big side step. Can we do four more? Can we do three? I'm aiming inside that circle. Two and one. Now, let's do the reverse. Let's step into it. So we're in the middle. And this time we're going to step out of that hula hoop. Again, we want to be careful. So what does that mean? Big side step. So that you get used to taking those big power side steps. Yeah. Uh-huh. I need four more. I need three more. Big side step. Two more. Last one. Good. So you can do it inside and outside of that hula hoop. Now let's do one more using the hula hoop on the floor. Big step in, add the other leg. Big step out. No squat. In, in, out, out. It's got to be a big step to get inside the target and outside the target. Turn and face it. It's another way to do it. Step forward. Step out. Step forward. Step out. One more. Step forward. Step out. Let's try a big power forward move. Inside the hula hoop and then back out. Mm, you can do it that way too. Let's try the left leg. Big power step forward and in. Ooh, got off balance there. Dig in. So you can do it sideways. You can do it looking at it. One more. So you have some options there. One more. We're going to take this and add more steps. We step in, in, all the way out to the other side. Hard one. In, in, all the way out. So there are two big side steps. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. So you're giving me a wide, wide stance. It's really important. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Let's do two more. In, in, out, out. In, in, out. Very good. And there's much more creative ways you can do the hula hoop. You could always make a circle with it. Use a hula hoop like it's supposed to be used. Okay. Anybody need water? Now is a great time. Let's finish with uh, some weights and some bands. Okay? We have to do that. They're very, very important. And I'll try to incorporate more props as the 
we get into more classes. Maybe do different things to give you different ideas. All right. So let's start with the band. I know I gave you some bands last time. Let's change it up a little bit. I'm not sure. But if you have a band, come and sit with it. Take a breath. Let's take it, hold the handles, gently flip your hand and reach for the inside a little bit like that. So it's still pretty, pretty wide. I'm gonna turn sideways here because this is what I need you to do. Arms come forward. This is hard. Now from here, I just need you to squeeze your shoulder blades and pull it apart a little bit and then bring it back down to the center. So the shoulder blades are coming together. Again, straight arm. As much over your head as possible. If you need to drop the head, you can squeeze those shoulder blades a little bit and pull it together and bring it back down. And again, up into a gentle squeeze there. I always think that my shoulder blades are gonna touch each other there in front. Big squeeze. Yeah. Big squeeze here. Good. Squeeze in there. Shoulder blades are coming together. Let's do two more. This is hard. Hold it. Squeeze your shoulder blades a little bit. Pull it apart. Release it and come down. One more, please. Nice. Good. You can step into it and make sure it's on the arch of the foot. Simple bicep curls. You don't want to use weights that day, you want to use your bands. Just curl into biceps. Simple. Arms are tucked into the rib cage. That elbow is in line with your hip. You're sitting forward on the chair, so you're not leaning back. Good. And remember, the wrist is cupped a little bit, so you're not pulling up with your wrist. Good. Can I get four more? Can I get three? Give me two. Now let's, let's add a little bit harder one. Simple. I need you to pulse it. Pulse it one, pulse it two, pulse it three. Small please, four, five, six, two more. Last one, all the way down. Oh, that's hard to do, huh? Shrug those shoulders up, release the tension in your neck, release your head. Let's do one more, okay? So we're gonna take the bands, put them inside the knees. And I need you to crisscross by changing hands. So they make an X down there. Nice narrow row for me, you ready? We're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades way back and then release. I don't wanna see your body moving back and forth. Body stays in place. You drive those elbows straight back you should brush against those rib cage there. And when you finish the movement, just extend the arm. Big pull. Yeah. Give me four more. Big squeeze. Give me three. Two. Squeeze tight. One more, please. Now, rest your hands right on your lap. Relax and collapse your chest and let the shoulders roll forward a little bit and drop your head. You might feel a stretch in that back, lower back, middle back. Relax your head a little bit. Just relieve some of the tension there. And then sit tall. Yeah. Let's try something with your weight. So I've given you two movements with weights. I think the last time we saw each other, you used weights as well. So, down you go. 
If you have weights, I'm using four pounds today. So it's gonna be a little bit harder, so I need you to widen your legs a little bit. Rest the weights on your lap. Then drop them on top of your lap. Let's start with your right arm. Pull it in. I want you to turn the torso again so that the weight comes on the outside of that left leg. You're gonna pull it to the shoulder. Here comes the hard one. Reach up to the top shelf in front of the face and then bring it back down. So feet stay in place, hips in place. Rotate the torso, reach to the outside of that left knee, pull it back up into the shoulder and push it straight up in front of you. Now be careful, we don't wanna to do too many of these. It's very difficult on the shoulders, a lot of joint movement there. Pull it in. And three, let's do four, just four. Put it back on that lap, take a breath. Palm on the lap, other hand. We lift, we rotate the torso, it goes to the right side of that outside knee. You pull it into the shoulder, right in front of your face, please. Right up into that top shelf. We kind of did rotations like this with our hula hoop. Again, the same thing. Rotating that torso, touching that outside of that knee. I need one more only. So we did rows with the bands. We did biceps with the bands. We did some delts and traps with the band. And we did torso and a little bit of shoulder with the weights, which is a really kind of good combo. Let's finish with the tricep extension, please. So can we move the feet just a little bit closer? Pull your elbows in. We tip forward. There's your tricep extension. There's your kickbacks. Now remember, that elbow is your hinge. Please don't collapse your chest. You have to sit tall. So if you can only do one arm at a time, rest one on your lap. Pull this one in and extend from there. Keep the shoulder forward. Don't let that shoulder pull back. And where is your head? It's in line with your spine. Nice and easy. Do eight on one side. And we're gonna do the other side. So sit tall, put it on your lap. Other side, you can see I did power outs to get to the other side of the chair. Extend the arm, pull it in, tight to the rib cage, and out you go. Remember, that elbow is your hinge, so we don't wanna throw it back there, we don't wanna swing it, we wanna extend it. And we wanna keep the wrist in line with that forearm, we don't wanna flick the wrist at the end. Good, can we do four more? Yeah. I need two more. Last one. Fold it, put it on your lap and pull the body back. So we did a combination of band and weights. Let's go ahead and take these weights and put them down. So I lean to the right, drop it to the floor. I lean to the left, put it on the floor. And then I go right into a great stretch here, dropping it to the floor, looking to the ceiling. It's kind of a rock, isn't it? Another side, please. Exhale. One more time. Body is rocking. Ah. And my fingers are nice, separated and stretched out. Very nice. Good. Now stretch out your arms. You're going to give a big bear hug. So I need you to pull your tummy in, round out your back, collapse your chest. Give me a big hug, big bear hug there. And then open and squeeze your shoulder blades and look up. Let me turn to the side so you can see what that looks like. I exhale when I do this. 
collapsing my chest, pulling my tummy in, rounding my whole back, and then opening. Now, let's drop your arms, reach to the chair, nice and low. Now, can you squeeze your shoulder blades together and look way up? You might feel a stretch in the bicep too. Now, relax the shoulders, let them come forward. Round your shoulders, drop your head. One more time, please. Squeeze your shoulder blades, come on, open it up here. Big stretch. Good, let's round the shoulders. Drop that head. Now let's release the chair. Shake out your hands down there. Ooh. Hands on your thighs, sit tall. Mm. Your right hand, please. Take it, put it over your head, all the way over on your left side of your head, near your ears. Now be careful, you've got to relax that shoulder. You're going to drop that ear, you're going to listen to the top of that shoulder and gently, gently with your fingertips, gently press. This might be hard to get your, head, your hand around that head. Take a breath, exhale, release it. That hand comes down in front of your chest, across your lap. The other hand. It'll be my left. This is the hard movement here to get it on the side of your head. Now I just drop my head and my ear is kind of listening to the shoulder as I'm pressing. Everybody's different on this stretch. But you're using your own body weight, your own pressure. Come back to the center. Hand across the chest to the lap. And just so you know, you're stretching through there. Now, both hands behind your head on each side of your skull. Now, pop your chest up, squeeze your shoulder blades and see how far you can look up. Now, bring your elbows forward, nothing else moves. You drop your chin into your chest and with your fingertips, you gently Press forward and exhale. Uh, lift those elbows back up. Pop your chest to the ceiling. This is hard. Squeeze and open. Everybody's different here. And elbows come forward. You drop your chin into your chest and you... Uh, now stay there and release your hands onto your lap. Now lift your chest, lengthen, lengthen your spine. Let's quickly stretch your legs, okay? Can we scoop up that right leg, lean back into the chair, flex that foot, give me a hamstring. We've done this before with each other. And let it go, circle with the ankle. Floor, you control where that stretch is gonna be. And how do you control it? with your hands. Big stretch, little stretch, littler stretch. Please decide what works for you. Release it in the ankle. Make sure you go in each direction. Good, on the floor. Wide step, wide step. Toes out. Hands inside your thighs, near your knees. See if you can give me straight arms that won't gently open here. I'm trying to keep those arms straight. Please don't drop your head. Try to keep the chest up and look straight forward so your back is on a nice diagonal. And release it. Now, give me toes and heels. Toes and, you've got to lift that ankle. Toes and heels. Cross your arms. Big t-shirt off again. Ah. And we're gonna reverse it. You ready? Exhale. Ah. Good. Hands on your lap. Take a big shrug and a nice release. Good. That's how we use some tools for our power moves. Okay?
Thank you, and we'll see you soon.